This is the future. Good morning my fellow Clubzonians and welcome back to my channel. So today's problem on this bloody piece of rubbish is the idling that it's had for a while but it includes now heavy heavy fuel consumption. So bad that when I put in a hundred rand of fuel and it brings the fuel gauge up to about a quarter and then when I drive 15 k's, the fuel has dropped from a quarter to almost empty. That's how heavy the fuel consumption is at this moment. And I don't know why, it was never that high. So this morning what I did find is on this fuel sensor or fuel pressure sensor, whatever, this um, pipe was perished at the back, so I did um, put insulation tape on it just to seal it off and I put the pipe in nicely that already made a difference to the idling now the problem with the idling is it is idling about 2000 revs so the idling is too high and uh, I checked a YouTube video this morning quickly where the guy told me that if you remove your plug from the idling control center there must be a fluctuation in idling there must be a difference it does nothing. When I pull out this plug, it stays the same. Then he also said that once you check your throttle control or throttle positioning sensor and you pull out that plug, it should also make a difference. And it doesn't, which tells me both of these sensors are FUBAR. So I went today and I quickly went and bought two new sensors and we're going to replace them now and hopefully it's going to fix the problem now why I'm also convinced that it's this sensor uh, I don't know if you guys will remember the ones who are always on my channel about a year ago the wife had an accident she impacted the car in the front the engine moved backwards and actually hit the whole throttle body against the firewall that's why it's got dents like that and I think from that impact she damaged the sensor and this sensor was never replaced I did take it to a guy the other day who said that he will replace them for me but it didn't fix the problem so I've got a suspicion that he only cleaned them he never replaced them so that's why today we are going to replace them with brand new sensors okay guys both sensors has been changed the wiring is back we're gonna start it now and see if the idling is better Okay, we've got some good news. The good news is that the engine check light is finally going off. Wow. For the first time, it's idling correct. Engine check light is off. Okay, problem solved. Woohoo! Yeah! Now I still have to figure out why that fuel is falling so rapidly. So I'm gonna drive the car and then uh, drop it off there by the wife and then when she comes back this afternoon, we'll check where the fuel gauge is lying. That will tell us whether there's a, a leak or not. But yeah, for the first time in a long time, I actually got this car right. Well guys, the good news is the car is pulling very nicely, uh, performance is good, it doesn't have that uh, kind of dead spot anymore, when you release the clutch it just goes, the idling is right, the engine check light is off, so all my problems for today has been solved, except for the fuel, we just still need to check whether the fuel is going to be um, heavy or not, so I did see where the fuel gauge was lying when I stopped at my wife's work, and by the way that's about 2Ks. It's 2Ks away and um, when she comes back tonight, we'll check if it's lying on exactly the same spot, which it should, 
or at least very close to uh, the old spot and the engine, uh, engine fuel light shouldn't be on. Then I know we actually won it. So uh, I'll give you the final update when she gets home and then uh, I'll tell you if it's a yay or a nay. Okay guys, as you can see it's now afternoon. The wife came back from work and the needle is exactly where it was this morning. So she drove 10 k's now. No, I lie. It was 4 k's in total and the needle hasn't dropped. Not like this morning when I drove 5 or so k's and it almost dropped from the dot to where it is now. So I think we, we beat it. I think we won it. So even the wife says that the car is pulling better and uh, it's pulling like it should. The light's on obviously now because the car hasn't been started. But yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all. There is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers